And with that, hello there everybody, my name is VG Pat, as you more than likely already know, and welcome to Ruth. I really have no idea how to pronounce that, to be honest, but we're gonna go with that as far as the, as the pronunciation. Also, you might notice that the resolution for these videos is going to be a little bit different than normal. Um, that's just because of the way the game runs. Not anything I can do about that. The resolution for this game is a little weird, and it is unfucking yielding as well. So, like I said, without further ado, let us get right on into reuse. I'm going to stop saying that, because the more I say it, the more I'm going to say it wrong. So, new game. Game mode. Beginning. Era the first. Alright, planet. You must awaken from your slumber. Your surface is dead, and only you have the force to bring life. Awesome. So, I'll just press any key. I don't know where the any key is, but... Yeah, so, alright, introduction. You have awakened from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren. It is lifeless. Zoom in and out. Use the mouse wheel up and down. Arrow keys. I can press the next me. Alright, all this is pretty simple shit. Left mouse button to click and drag the planet. Next. Arrows, keys. Create the giants. Using what little strength you have, you create the ocean giant and the rock giant. The instruments of your will. Neat. So we got giant evil fucking looking crab man and giant really really sad looking rock man. All right, your goal is to create to have life roam your surface entirely. And to start, you will turn this dry wasteland into a paradise. We're on the giant or its portrait. Okay. Move the. Okay, move the rock giant and ice giant towards each other. Oh, look at that. They're gonna have some fun together. Ain't that cute? Alright, in corner about the land, you can use the left mouse button and view its statistics. Patch! Wasteland, of course. Next, dry wasteland cannot sustain any life and must be terraformed in order to become habitable. Create ocean. Go, Ocean Giant. Have an orgasm. No? Yes? Maybe? He did get a little bit of a weird look on his face. Oh, uh, Rock Giant, um, rocks usually don't do good with water. You get out of there, man. Alright. <laughs> we created an ocean. Alright, so it looks like we got a, a patch of wet wasteland, it looks like. Well done! Ocean's on the first step in creating life. Yay! Oh good, we got the monkey thing. All right, what do we got next? Select the forest giant. Oh, he seems so much more useful than the other ones. We'll just create a forest right here. One makes water, the other kind of moves things, and you know, I guess even the water one can be considered to move things, and this guy just creates life from his fingers because why the fuck not so we can't make it there let's go have him make that over here all right so let's go make two forests all right good forests require water from the oceans the rock giant has gained a new ability hell yeah what does he got raise mountains Raising a mountain on a village will destroy it. Okay, so... Hmm... To create a desert. I will make it right here, because I don't really know where else the fuck to make it. Alright, so we got two forests, an ocean, and a bunch of other bullshit. Good, good. It's all okay. Holy shit in a hat. You know, maybe I should have moved this a little farther to the side. Alright, use the rock giant to raise a mountain. Done. Cancels mountains also cancel out oceans. Great. 
So let's bring uh, Mr. Waterman over here to the exact opposite of the world. And we'll start moving him down here. You go make a mountain, like, right here or some shit. You have fun with that. Make a nice, like, really shittedly symmetrical world. Like, I mean, you know what? I'm actually thinking about it. Um, these guys also move really slow. Um, considering how small this world is, a, a little mountain like that should completely throw us out of orbit. You know, but, but, but again, what the fuck do I know, right? You never know. Okay, so we will make a forest right here. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to play this game, while we're waiting for these fuckers to move, is um, I used to really, really enjoy God games. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's not specifically things like The Sims, although it's very similar. It's more in the line of games like um, Black and White and Black and White 2. Those were really really fun games like I enjoyed those more than any sane person should to be perfectly honest I really did those were incredible games and I really miss those kind of games and when I saw this pop up on GOG I immediately saw the words God game and that pretty much sold me on it immediate fucking way so for better or for worse, it's something that, as I was looking at it, seemed really fucking awesome. And I think I'm really going to enjoy this game. It's been a long time since I've legitimately seen a really fun god game, and this seems to fit the bill bar none, so. Got a little bit of, uh... Wee! Got Mr. Rockman hanging up on his mountains with his cloud hat. I like his cloud hat. His cloud hat makes me happy. Also, this monkey thing's face does not amuse me, actually. It, uh, is actually quite terrifying. Alright, experiment with different effects. <coughs> I don't know what that means. Alright, so, we have created life. And it's going to show us all the work that we just kind of spent probably about five minutes looking at, so go figure. All right, well done. You have accomplished your goals. You have learned great blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's get moving on. The first arrow has been completed. Oh, I, oh shit, these are tutorials? I mean, I, I, obviously they, you know, no fucking shit, Sherlock, but uh, welcome to the second era. Next. So again, you have awoken from your slumber. You found the surface dry and barren. Really? Uh, come back up, Crab Man. You're needed. Alright, so we got Crab Man, Monkey Man, and where's my Rocky friend? Because Ro- Hey, where's Rocky? You sense a faint spark of life somewhere deep below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Okay, Monkey Man. You are about to start having to make a bunch of life, so... I really wish it kind of gave me a little bit more of a, uh, a better, like, little metric of, uh, units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Okay, so that's 13 wide. Actually, this is the center, so it's... That's 13 from there. 14, 15, 16, 17. So we'll have to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So right there, we're going to need you to make water right the fuck here. So while we have him doing that, we'll take Monkey Man back over here, start making a forest. I'm trying to count it out properly so that I don't have any wasted space. Have like 10 patches or some shit. I mean, this should be 10 patches, I think. I don't know. And I might have miscounted. I don't think so, but I might have. I hope not. Okay, well, let's start having him move down this way. Because it's going to be slow goings if we you know, don't have him. 
Purring his lass. Okay, I'll go done. You sense a chain. Somewhere in a cave, something small is awakened. You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core. And it seems your forest giant has gained new ability. Awesome. So we got fruit plants. Good, it seems like I actually got it right. So do we just kind of like throw that down right here? Hold on. Okay, well. Uh... Oh shit. Um, well, it seems like a new settlement has popped up because of uh, our bullshit. Now let's go make... I think I did actually miscount. I did miscount by one. Son of a bitch! Whatever, you go do this. Alright, let's see what we've got going on. As soon as the humans settle, all of their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. Eh, fuck it, I don't want to go do make another one. Actually. Yeah, right there. That might actually be... That looks actually completely right. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, click on the village to see the village's borders. Each end of the village borders is marked by a bunker or a buoy. Placing plants, animals, or minerals within the village's borders will generate resources. Huh. Neat. You can tap control to sign through additional info. Blueberry is providing five food, so the maximum food the villagers can use is five. Okay. Let's have you place another one right here on the edge. Mate, go over there. Do your thing. Come on. So yes, it seems like we can have food plant everywhere now. <coughs> Good. Do your thing. You goddamn giant monkey thing. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we did it. What next? You can also see the village panel. These two blue bears are now generating tin food that will eventually lead to tin food being put to use. You can always speed things up by actually... actually yeah. The bigger the difference between the food in use and the food in borders, the faster the food in use will grow. See if you can raise the food in use above tin using the fruit plant ability. Well, I'll, I'll do that here in a second. Hold on. Let's see. Borders. Alright, there. So we'll just add some more fruit. We're really spoiling these little guys. They're gonna start writing books about us, and it's not going to end well, all in all. Just, just, just kind of putting a warning out to Giant Monkey Man over here. The more you spoil these little guys, the more that you're probably gonna run into issues of them killing people in your name. Now, obviously, obviously. That might be your game, Monkey Man. But I find that really shitty, so... I don't know if I like him or not anymore. Then again, I never really liked him. Just look at that shit-eating grin he's got. I mean, Rock Man looked really sad. I get it. Rock Man was sad, this guy's kinda happy, and, uh... This guy's just kind of in the fucking different. I don't know how he feels. Go have him go over here. Alright. See what we got next. Well done. The village is growing and the people are gaining knowledge. They have started building something of their own. Oh, that's great. What 